Fellas, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 common mistakes that new producers make in no particular order. So let's just get straight into it. Mistake number one is bad 808s. And what I mean by this is if your 808s are out of tune or they're hitting the wrong note. And I also mean if your 808s are overlapping, which results in a really muddy sound or your 808s just simply aren't hitting hard enough or they're hitting way too loud. And if you guys want some help with some 808s, I've got two videos that I'm going to throw up a card for up here. But if you're struggling with 808s, make sure to check that out. Mistake number two is buying MIDI chord packs. These are simply things that you do not need. Nine times out of 10, they're just selling you like 10 or so chord progressions just translated into every possible key and they're charging a lot of money for it this guy who made a really good video on why you shouldn't buy cord packs and i'll throw that up here he elaborates way more on it and i highly recommend you check that out bottom line is do not buy cord packs normal midi packs that are by credible producers or just producers that you like are still more than okay to use in my opinion just not the not the cord packs number three is oh my goodness number three is thinking your beats would be so much better if only you just had better equipment a lot of new producers think you need midi keyboards or little beat pads so you can make beats but guys if you don't already know how to play piano you don't need it you can literally just draw in your melodies well i think it's fun to do it like that it's definitely not necessary and the mindset of thinking my beats would be so much better if only i had this you're only holding yourself back you don't need all this crazy equipment to make crazy beats most of these industry producers are always on the move just making beats on their laptop so you do not need the crazy equipment to make crazy beats so if you have that mindset get that out of here mistake number four is going to be using too many loops well i think it's okay to use loops i've said on my channel before that if you're just starting out using loops is a good way to learn how to make beats and get your workflow going but as far as learning how to make melodies if you only use loops you're not going to get good at making melodies if you get me the more time you spend making melodies the better you're going to get at it and if you spend all that time just using loops you're not going to get any better so i'm not saying it's not okay to use loops i'm just saying chill out try and make some melodies and get better at it mistake number five is not listening to feedback if you show your friends your beats and ask for their honest opinion and you don't want to listen to their feedback that's on you of course if they're just hating on it like man this shit is bad and they're not telling you what you could do differently to make it better then obviously don't listen to it but if they're saying things like oh the 808 sounds out of key or this sound sounds a little bit offbeat and it doesn't fit anything like that that's like constructive definitely take that criticism into consideration coming in at number six is gonna be pirating plugins i can't say that i've never done that before i've definitely done my fair share of pirating plugins but definitely not a cool thing to do it's also not a very safe thing to do if you're buying a plugin straight from the seller you know that, that it's not going to have a virus on it. but if you're pirating a plugin from some sketchy website there's probably a high chance that there's going to be a virus attached to it you may not even know it for a long time but out of nowhere you could turn on your computer and they're telling you you need to send them 100 bitcoin in order to get your computer back so i highly recommend not pirating plugins this is not sponsored but you can go on splice and get serum for ten dollars a month until you own it completely over time you eventually just own the plugin once you've paid for it also on my website blake.shop i've got quite a few affordable plugins that i think you guys would enjoy so go ahead and check out mr blake.shop if you're interested in some plugins coming in at mr number set coming in at number seven we have not collaborating collaborating with other producers is one of the best ways to get better at making beats you know seeing what other people are doing and taking that into consideration for your own production and it definitely just helps getting your name out there because the more people you work with the more you're out there so collaborate with as many people as you can because as a producer you got to take advantage of every opportunity possible and who knows maybe one day some random guy you collaborated with through dms on instagram gets one of your collaborations placed with drake or some shit so definitely collaborate with other producers number eight we've got copying everything when i was new to producing i would listen to my favorite songs and just pick apart all the different elements i hear and just think about how they did that and incorporate that into my beats and in my opinion that's a very healthy way of copying someone else's work because at that point it's just inspiration all art is inspired by something but if you first start off with no like prior music knowledge like if you never learned how to play piano or any other instrument it's very common for me to see that people just copy exactly what they like. And while I think that's a pretty good way to learn how to produce, I think that long term, that's pretty unhealthy, especially if you're trying to build your own sound and try to be unique. Copying everybody else is not going to get you to that goal. So definitely take elements from certain songs, but don't outright copy them. Coming up next, we have an honorable mention. A big mistake that I see with a lot of new producers is not watching my channel. That's right. This is a self promo. I've got a lot of tutorials on my channel on how to use FL Studio. I've got news updates on FL Studio, and I've got some fun challenge videos on FL Studio and other DAWs. If you're a new producer, 
stick around i got some content for you guys anyways moving on to number nine coming in at number nine is seeking approval while i mentioned earlier that you should send your beats to your friends you should produce for yourself and for yourself only and what i mean by that is like when i started producing i started producing because i thought it was super cool i always listened to music and i just wondered how they put these tracks together so i figured it out for myself and i just enjoy producing I see a lot of people who get into producing thinking that this is just a new way to make money. If you're making beats to try and impress people, you're doing it the wrong way. Do it for yourself and just enjoy it for what it is. And number 10 is no promotion on your beats. If you just have a personal Instagram or personal Snapchat followed by all your friends from school or whatever, and you post on your story, guys, go check out my beat stars and buy some beats. Not very many people are going to do that. So I recommend looking into some real ways to promote your beats other than just like posting on your personal Instagram page being like, guys, check out my beats, blah, blah, blah. That's not going to get you very far. A good way for promotion is collaborating with other producers, like I mentioned before, or creating an Instagram page that's dedicated solely to your production like separate it from your personal page and do not comment on people's things saying oh i'm a 14 year old producer check out my beats not gonna work don't do that if you guys want to see a video from me where i go more in depth on how to promote your beats and make money off your beats definitely let me know but that is gonna do it for this video if you guys want to watch a video where i made a beat using six different DAWs, click this video right here and if you want to watch a video where i made my own diy instrument and then made a beat with it click this video right here anyways guys thank you very much for watching it has been your boy Blake. make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.